Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're reviewing step charts. So uh, a step chart is not an option within Excel. So if we went and just highlighted a range here, we went up to an insert, we go to um, all of our charts, uh, you will see that if we look at all charts, uh, there is no step chart. It looks like a line chart, but notice there is uh, no step chart item type so or a chart type. So I can do 3D, I can do lots of different things, but there's nothing that's doing a step chart. Now you may ask, what is a step chart? A step chart you want to use when your data does not change over a set period of time and it remains flat. Um, so for instance, the interest rate, the prime rate in uh, the United States, it may be unchanged for years and then drop to a certain value, then be unchanged for more years, and then drop, drop, and then we've got it going up, and then finally it remains unchanged for a long time and it went up again. Um, so when you have data that's like this, always consider a step chart. Now you may say, Steve, well, why don't you just go ahead and chart um, what you've uh, got here. How do, why don't you just make that a line chart? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here we have the same data and if I go up to my insert ribbon and I choose my line chart type and let me move that line chart over here a little bit. Notice what Excel does is it's going to say okay you started at 2000 you dropped in 2000 um, kind of at a constant rate so 2004 was at 5% uh, 2007 was 4%. We just happened to be a very straight line here almost. And then in 2008 it was 3%. But notice it was not a straight drop. So if we look at 2003 it is not somewhere around oh say 5.25. Um, it's actually uh, it was still in 2003 it was still 6%. So we need that line to go straight across then down then over. Let me show you how you make this. It's a very simple uh, way to do this. There is a manual process, but uh, make sure you come back on Friday because I'm going to have a challenge on how to actually make this uh, more formulaic. Uh, okay, so let's show you how we go about making the step chart. Now, the trick to this is, um, see, we start at year 2000, and it is 6%. Oops, it should be 2000. Now, um, the next year, 2001, it's still 6%. This is pretty easy. You just go ahead and do your normal ones um, as you would. Uh, 2003 um, we had 6% but in 2004 it dropped to 5% so to get that line to drop straight down we need to do one more at 2004 at 6% and then 2004 at 5% so that's actually going to do a vertical line for us on the year 2004 so now we go to 2005 and 2005 is still going to be the 5% 2006 is 5% 2007 is 4%, um, but we still need one, like we talked about before, to be at the 5%, and then another one for 2007 to drop down to 4%. Likewise, we need to do that for the 2008 one. We're going to have to start at 4% and then do 2008 at 3%, which is the final value, and that'll give us that vertical. 2009 was 3%. 2000. 10, we're almost there. 2010, we had a rate change again. We went up to 5%, but first we need to start at the previous value of 3%, and then we can jump up to 5%. 2011 was 5, 2012 was 5, uh, 2013 was 5, and then 2014, we we're saying we're going to have another jump here up to 6%, but we first need to start at 5. 2014, we're going to go to the 6. Now, I'm going to go ahead and chart this values here. Now, if I have the year, I've posted about this before, if you have any text here, it's going to think that this is actually another data series. So I sometimes just remove that first one and I'll uh, label and I will put it back in there. So I've highlighted it. I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon and I'm going to insert a line chart. Now, here's the second trick. So the first trick is you have to learn how to do the verticals, but Notice I charted this and it's not right. Look, it should be going straight up and down. Instead, it's tracking from 2004 to 2005. Uh, what we need to do is we just need to change our horizontal axis. So go ahead and right click on your horizontal axis or click on your horizontal axis and then hit Control 1. And that is going to bring up your format axis options over on the right in 2013. 
And then you want to see um, right down here it says uh, in the access type it's going to say date access. So we want to choose a date access and once we do that, look at that. Lo and behold, our step chart is made. So we're going to have a straight line from 2000 all the way to 2004 and that are these six percents right there. And then a second data series at 2004 that's going to drop it to five. There's our step. Once again, we're going to stay at five percent until we get to 2007. We need to also have a five percent because it started out at 2007 at five percent and dropped there to a value of four percent. So that's a quick and easy way to make a step chart in Excel. It takes a little bit of trickery in that you have to know how to do the vertical lines. And then once again, you want to um, change your format access to be a date access um, if it is not already recognizing that as a date access. So uh, thanks again for visiting my um, video channel. Make sure you subscribe to my video channel. Also make sure you come back to the Excel tem dashboard templates.com uh, blog site uh, for our Friday challenge where we're going to have a real cool challenge based on step charts. Thanks, and talk to you soon.